Don't you see I'm trying to save you? I don't need you. I never needed you. I love you, Lover. You don't. I know there's still a lot that you and me gotta figure out, but I just wanted to say that maybe I can't. if we... I can't. Not today. I get it. And another time that can happen, but it ain't gonna be today. <laughs> Shit. It was enough for me that you called me dad back there. So now that I finally got some good shit, you know, good stuff going on, you know, I wanted you to know. You deserve the good stuff. You know that, right? Hey, Marvin! The state of Marvin is now questionable and as to whether he's dead or still alive is the debate on the table now. We have watched Power for over eight years now to know that it is not difficult for the writers to break hearts. Angela was shot at the end of an episode and we all thought she was going to make it, only to wait for the next episode and she was dead. That is not all. Almost everyone who watched Power Book 4 Force was shocked when Liliana was shot. Even Ghost wasn't spared and his story is still a misery to some of us. Now, we saw Lulu going down similar way as Marvin but he survived. Question is, will Marvin be fortunate enough like his baby brother? In this video, I'll be talking about the build-up to Marvin's shooting and how some of the lines may mean something tragic and how some reconciliations are likely to be the end for someone. Before then, I want to send a quick shout out to Nunu for holding me down in the last breakdown and thanks to all who send me goodwill messages in the comments and in my DM on Instagram. And of course, if you are new to my channel, you are welcome. Kindly hit the subscribe button, like, share, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Let's get straight into business. Now, before I answer the question, is Marvin dead or still alive? I want you to look at the buildup of Marvin and Jukebox. We all knew what happened between Marvin and Jukebox and why they seemed not to cross paths again. And we all understood why Jukebox was very mad at her father and reasons why she reached out to her mother. Now, Marvin has gone through some changes and these changes made him want to prove more, especially to his daughter. The old Marvin wouldn't have had patience with Kenya coming back to her daughter's life as if nothing had happened. But he gradually tolerated all this until Kenya, together with her church members, pushed Juke back to Marvin once and for all. Now, let's focus on this scene between father and daughter. Marvin wanted to clear his chest and probably apologize to his daughter, but the state in which Juke was, she didn't want to have that conversation at that moment. Marvin didn't hesitate or push it, but he made her understand that calling him dad in front of her mother alone was enough for him. Now, usually, suspended conversations are likely not going to happen due to tragedy or something else. And Marvin has demonstrated that he has changed some part of himself, especially his choice of words. Now, talking about choice of words, let's see how the writer played with words here. In the last scene, Rene said to Marvin he deserved good things. Agreed. But does Marvin deserve anything good after the last hit he put on Tony? That is where the shooting comes in. You deserve the good stuff. You know that, right? Hey, Marvin! For me, this scene and the statements are metaphorical to what the writer thinks Marvin deserves. Now, let's focus on the shooting, then we can answer if Marvin is dead or still alive. Now, first of all, what are the mistakes in this scene? The people did multiple shots, they didn't confirm if Marvin is dead, and they left the scene in a hurry. If you ask me, that is an amateur way of killing someone that needs to go. They shot at them like some robbery scene, so professionally, this kind of shootout won't put someone specifically to the ground. Now, these are the mistakes from the shooters. Has anyone been hit? Yes, someone was hit. Now, if you pay close attention to this angle when the shooting started, blood spilled through Marvin's arm here. And if you look at how close Marvin and Renee were, Marvin was covering her in a way, so the possibility of Renee getting hit is high. And the possibility of Marvin getting hit is also high. Now to the question, is Marvin dead? The answer is maybe yes, but probably not. Why? Now let's look at their standing position and where the shooters were. They stood at their side or profile view, so the possible places that can be hit are the arms, shoulders, neck, side stomach, leg, etc. Now all these parts are likely to be safe as compared to the chest and the back. So the position they shot from can't fully put Marvin to the ground. He will be hurt badly, 
but he won't die as a result of this. What does this mean to Raquel now? She'll be very angry and will do everything to make Saul things he has succeeded in killing Marvin. And I think this period will see more connections between Jukebox and her dad as well. Let me know what you think about the shooting in the comment section. If you also think Marvin could go out like this or you think he's equally alive. Now, let me throw more light on this scene. Someone put a bullet in my son's head. Talk to your mother. Tell her to do something. Because if she don't, I will. Scrappy's mother is still not buying what they said about her son killing himself. She seems very sure that her son didn't kill himself, which we all know was true. Now, does Scrappy's mother know something we don't know yet? Possibly yes. Could it be that Scrappy told her exactly who he was going to and what they were going to do? Let's say before Marvin and Lou sent Scrappy to the location, he had already told his mother who he was going with and what they were going to do at the location. Then it means Scrappy's mother can do the math and put two together and say Marvin and Lou killed her son because she looks very certain on something fishy. Now, why is Scrappy's mother so keen on Raquel doing something about her son's death? Think about it this way. If Scrappy works for Raquel and he has been killed, Raquel should be worried because whichever threat took her crew member out is likely to wipe out the entire crew, right? Unless that crew member was sacrificed by the head of the crew. So if Raquel stays quiet, Scrappy's mother will be convinced that Raquel knew about who killed her son. I believe your mama know it too. But she letting this shit stand with no kind of answer to nobody? These motherfuckers who took my son from me out here living their lives with not a care in the fucking world? That shit don't sit right with me. And it shouldn't with Rock neither. So Raquel's silence over Scrappy's death is not doing anything good to his mother. Let me know what you also think about this in the comment section. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button, share, and most importantly, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.